Before getting into updating, it's good to know some of the parts and pieces that go into the mechanics of an update. One of the most important is the data date. The data date represents the date that you update the schedule as of. So, if you're updating the schedule on March 25th, the data date should be March 25th. If you're ever wondering what your data date is, you can go up to File and then Project Info. In this window, you'll find your data date listed. This project has already been updated. You can see here the project start line and over here the blue data date. The blue color on the bars represents work that has actually been completed. The red or green represents work remaining. Over here in the columns, next to some of the dates, you'll see a capital A. The capital A means that these activities have either actually started and or actually finished. You make a date actual by checking the box down here in the activity editor. Also down here in the activity editor, are remaining duration and percent complete. These are used to status activities along with the actual date checkboxes. Now getting a little bit more in depth, you'll see there are a number of columns that relate to updating a schedule. There's the actual duration, this is that blue part of the bar, or completed work. There's remaining duration, this is the green or red part of the bar, or incomplete work. There's duration at completion. This is the sum of the actual duration and the remaining duration. There's at completion percent complete, which is the percent complete that is used by default and I recommend using. At completion percent complete is actual duration divided by duration at completion. There's also original duration percent complete. Original duration percent complete is the original duration minus remaining duration divided by original duration. And then also the physical percent complete. This field is not calculated and is entirely user defined. In here, you can type in the percent complete. You'll also notice here that I have an early start, early finish, actual start, and actual finish column. In your schedule by default, the columns that we show are the current start and the current finish. The current start and current finish are a combination of both these early columns and the actual columns. Before an activity becomes complete or any progress is made, an activity will only have an early start and early finish. Once you start completing work, the date moves over into these actual fields. 